We will all. can't 
must be stopped. Thanks for waiting. Don't even try. Okay, let's do this. You will be reborn. of our wishes that you are here. The chaos that surrounds the Yules. I know that darkness all too well. It's the unseen chaos. It's not like I could forget. Blade, something's happening to the chaos in the temple. It is time. There is something we have to tell you. You need to know who we are. What we are. <sighs> this is chaos from the unseen realm. Right, what's going on? My readings are off the charts. Can you hear me? It was us. We destroyed the world. You're the source of the original chaos. The chaos that burst from the Unseen Realm. You lived countless different lives. Born over and over each time with a new soul. To live and see Caius again. With each death, our prayers grew more desperate. Layer upon layer until the weight made them collapse into a single dark mass. Once the Unseen Chaos was created, it could not be stopped. It reached out and dragged you into the other realm. It broke the dam that the Goddess had built. It shattered the boundaries between worlds. So, 
This all began because you couldn't let go of Caius? The chaos and all its power grew out of your need. Need? Yes. I needed him more than anything. He was everything to me. The fear of being alone consumed me. Became monstrous. It is the unseen chaos. The strands of our minds woven together. We are one and the same. We are the ones who yearn to be with him. We are the ones who give him life when he cries for death. But we are also the ones who pray that he finds peace at last. We are a contradiction that cannot be resolved. And the chaos is our love for him. Hope, listen carefully. I know whose power it was that destroyed the world. The souls of all the Yules. They've grown together like a cancer. They are the unseen chaos. The souls of Yule? The Zerus? Yes. Those poor girls were destined to die before they could grow old. Their feelings and thoughts became part of the chaos, made it powerful, gave it purpose. They're bending it to their will. And if it's released, it'll destroy everything we're trying to do. Then we obviously can't let the Yules go on unchecked. I can't see what you see, but if Yule's there, can you try calling out to her? See if you can stop her. I don't know how much luck I'll have. Even she doesn't seem to have full control. If we want to keep this chaos in check, the only way might be to do what she wants. And what Yule wants more than anything is for Caius to be saved.
In this dying world, nothing is more precious than time. Why do you waste it on me? Does my victory still sting? Do you seek vindication? I'm not here to fight you. That won't wipe out the past. So you're here as the savior, to offer me salvation. It's for Yule's sake. She asked me. I refuse. I'm not asking for permission. The chaos here needs to be brought under control. I'm gonna do what Yule asks. You think you know what she wants. Even if one Yule prays for my salvation, another demands the opposite. Very well. Do your best, Hunter of Souls. Cleave the evil from me and save me, if you can. If you wish to have my soul. You must take it by force. No more destiny, no more fate. Let's end this once and for all.
go easy on me. Stop it. Chaos is not easily overcome. You are the hunter of souls, but you cannot claim mine. Behold! Even if one Yule desires my salvation, another demands my rebirth. Uh. With each death and life, Yule's soul was splintered anew, the divided fragments melting into the ocean of chaos. She is one and many, a contradiction. When Yule pleads for my salvation, she speaks the truth. But at the same time, Yule cannot let me go. She must keep me here. So Yule is never gonna let you go? She is but a child. And a child needs to be looked after, especially when she is doomed to stay alone in the chaos. Yule is the unseen chaos, and the chaos will consume any world that it touches. She was always cursed, from the very beginning. Her power is too great, even if she wishes no harm. The very existence of the Chaos must distort and warp reality. So tell me, Savior, in the world that God is building, can you welcome her with open arms? No, you cannot. It is a new future. And there is no place for her in it. We must stay here. The chaos is where we belong. That's your plan? You'll stay here with Yule and be destroyed along with the world. I am an empty shell. My soul is rotted away. I shall cast this body into the chaos. I shall be the shepherd of all the souls. Destined to wander the darkness, never to be reborn in the new world. Is this how you hope to atone for what you did? Do you think you can wash away the sin of destroying a world? <laughs> Yule... You want to be with Caius. You don't want salvation. I can do nothing. Now leave us, Savior. Do not confuse you all any longer. into Valhalla? It was all because of the power of the unseen chaos. And the chaos came from that girl, reborn and splintered, generation after generation. From you. It's under control for now, but the chaos could burst out again anytime. So you won't save everyone after all. Do you think you can live with that? I can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved.
Savior. Can you hear my voice? <gasps> Yul. It was you I heard. You spoke to me when I arrived in the Wildlands. I could see everything. I could see what you had to do here. So I called out from within the chaos. To all the people, past and future, I spoke to every person who would listen to me. Right. The Doctor and everyone else here, bit by bit, you managed to tell the story. And that story turned into a legend about the Angel of Valhalla, shared by everyone here. Then I owe you my thanks. I don't think we'd have found each other if it wasn't for you, telling that story. I only pointed the way to your destiny. You and he have always been bound by the strands of fate, since long before you came to the Wildlands. See? He was always yours. Your steed, your knight, your champion. You. It was you all along. A hell of a disguise. You had me fooled. Odin, my faithful friend, it's good to see you again.